this is Yana Smakula for simonsestium.com and welcome back for another Yippee for Yana video. In today's episode, I'm making a floral card for my mom using some new and old products from Simon. I, like many of you, I'm sure, have my all-time favorite stamps. And one of those stamp sets is the mom and dad icon set. I just love the font that was used for the mom and dad words. It's a great font for coloring, so I reached for this set for my card today. Now, if you do not have this set, you can also use Simon Says Stamp Stitched Alphabet Set. It features the exact same font and has every letter, obviously, that would let you spell any other word that you might like. For example, sister or aunt or cousin or grandma. I started working on my card by stamping letters onto white cardstock in Simon's Intense Black Ink. I knew I wanted to color them with my Copic markers, so that dictated the paper and ink choice for my today's card. I grabbed the new Bold Flower stamp set and stamped a number of images in various bright ink colors. The idea was to create a floral garden, so to speak, around the word mum. The colors of ink I used were Jelly Bean, I stamped two of the leafy branches, Willow, I stamped this other kind of a leafy branch, Visteria, I used this color to stamp tiny florals, and also used a lighter purple, Velvet Orchid, to stamp the same image. My mom really loves purple, so I made sure to make this color dominant on my card. I also used Doll Pink to stamp the dotted cluster bloom. I've been using it a lot on my cards lately, and I really like the simple look of that flower and actually all of the images in this set. And finally, I used Sunshine, for a similar smaller flower. Purple and yellow always go really well together, so I knew I'd want to add hints of yellow to my card. I also added several of the larger flowers here. I used Hollyhock. I really like this soft pink color. It goes nice together with a dull pink. And I stamped this one once more in Twirling Tutu, a very light pink. And finally, one last image for the card was another large flower, and I used Velvet Orchid color for this one again. I also stamped a background for my card using the new Reverse Polka Dot Background Stamp. I've been using it a lot lately. It's just a fantastic background that lets you create the look of patterned paper with minimum effort. I've used white paper and my stamp platform. I already had some repositionable adhesive added to my platform to hold the paper in place, so I just adhered my paper onto the platform, and that's why I didn't put it in the corner of my tool or did not use magnets or washi tape to hold it in place. I went with barely beige ink color for my background. I really like the softness of this color. It's like it's not even there, yet it is there, and it adds a nice, subtle detail to the background. There are coordinating dies available for all of these images, and what I love this Bold Flowers stamp set for is that the coordinating dies here cut everything out and they cut flowers separately from the stems. So that gives us more use out of these images. Next, I used my Cobrick markers and I colored my mom letters. I used purples here, of course, and went with V17, V15 and V12 colors, and I just colored each letter to create a gradient from the darkest at the bottom to the lightest at the top. Once that was done, I foam mounted my letters onto the panel, but I didn't press hard on the foam adhesive as I knew I will be moving things around. Well, maybe not so much moving around as tucking little florals and little things under the letters, so I needed to be able to lift them up. But at the same time, I needed my letters to stay put in place. And with lots of adhesive, lots of kinds of adhesive, unless you press hard on it, you can reposition it a few times on your project. I used my fingers and shaped many of the elements to make them slightly more dimensional. I cut one of the branches into two pieces and carefully cut the axis off to be able to use both elements for my card. I started playing with the placement and the arrangement of the flowers and leaves, creating a little floral garden behind the word mom. My mother loves to garden, so I know she's going to love this card. You know, I make so many cards, so many different projects, but it's not often that I get to make them with a specific recipient in mind. 
So it was really great to be able to sit down and make this card for my mom just the way she likes them. And I know she's going to save this card and treasure it just like she does with all the cards that I give her. And I do give her tons of cards all the time. I use some more foam adhesive squares to foam mount the elements in place. And you can see that I removed the letter M completely from the background and popped it up on my die cuts and then foam mounted the die cuts onto the card. So there is a double layer of dimension there. And that's the way I like to make my cards. I know that's not always male friendly. So if you worry that there's too much dimension going on on a card like this, if you want to recreate this card, you can use thinner foam adhesive. There are these thin foam adhesive squares from Scrapbook Adhesives and they're just as good, but they're just twice thinner than the regular foam adhesive squares or tape, so they will not give you quite as much dimension on your card. I also used glue to adhere many of the elements in place, and finally I added a bunch of those tiny purple flowers here and there. I just love those little blooms. They do come with a stem, but I'm yet to use them like that, and I just love them so much without anything else. I white heat embossed a sentiment that reads, So happy you're my mom, in white embossing powder onto a black cardstock strip, and I adhered that onto my card right in the middle of my cluster. I also added several droplets from Pretty Pink Posh, and that finished my card. I should see my mom today, and I'm hoping to give this card to her. We're flying in and she's picking us up from the airport. I haven't seen her since last November, so I'm pretty excited. So this finishes my card and video. I hope you guys will give this idea a try and will make a card for a family member or a friend. If you do make a card inspired by this video, we'd love it if you could share your project and tag us on social media. We always love to see what you make. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye.